Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is Dallas here. We're here on episode 125. And today, we're going to make some trap doors. Or some secret doors. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I tried building something like um, trap doors and such. What I mean by trap doors, they're like piston doors that open in the ground. They're flush with the ground. Um, but they didn't really work on Pocket Edition like I did on like they did on PC. So uh, I think I want to do that today. Um, actually, I want to show you it real quick. I rebuilt it in Creative. Uh, let's just go on there real quick. Um, yeah, here it is right here. This simple little design. It's sort of similar to the popular design everyone knows about if you're a redstone enthusiast, I guess you can say. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you just have to... I just made a few tweaks to it of the original design. This is it right here. Like, this is the normal floor ground. Oh, I oh, God, I remember these controls in Pocket Edition. Um, and then we'll have a button just somewhere, and then, of course, it opens up to um, a 3x3 three three like that. And it's a really quick method, so when you're standing on top of it, it'll drop you down into, like, a, a slime block pad, and then it closes behind you. And I think I want to implement this into... No. Implement this into our world. In a few different places, actually, because, um, like, such as down here, where our future oh gosh <laughs> where our future uh what is that storage room is going to be i want a quick access to it but instead of running down all them stairs i think i want to put it like right there and drop right here um so that's the first thing i want to do and then we're going to do a few other things around the house today um i kind of sorted out this lag i think my phone just needed to be restarted um it's kind of all right now but let's get to building i want to build this thing okay so i think Oh, I say I got rid of the lag, and there's a huge lag spike. Um, you, sir. Hey, colorful sheep, you're still here. Not that he would disappear or nothing, but just saying. <laughs> um, so, I think this is, like, right above that room that leads into the storage room. I think right here would be a good spot, like these four blocks. Because it's going to be four by four. Um, I'm not using my shovel because it's almost broken. And I want to start keeping all my tools and put them up on walls. I don't, unless, because if you know, like, um, you can fix tools to an extent and then they start getting really expensive to fix. And when they get too expensive, I'm just going to start collecting them and putting them like in an armory. Is this a good spot? That's a perfect spot, but there's a lot of redstone involved. So we will have to lower this roof a lot, which kind of sucks because I really like the formation in here. I don't know. I'll go ahead and get all the boring stuff out of the way, trying to get it hooked up and get the ceiling redid. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Here I go again. Doing what I told myself not to do. <laughs> Stealing the slime again. I just keep running out, guys. I need slime blocks really badly for pistons or slime itself, not blocks. And I fixed this too. Stupid creeper. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I think this will work out. Kind of got a few pistons placed. This is uh, kind of the setup right here, if you did not know. Oh, wait, am I doing this? Okay, yeah, I'm doing it right. All right. Okay, yeah, and then I just got to place all the redstone around and the repeaters, and then I might just put, like, a hidden button, like, right here where this dirt block is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, got it all laid out now. Got the hole ready. Um, <laughs> Look at this back here. This little crawl space is kind of creepy. I don't know why I didn't light this up or anything. I don't think any mobs can spawn down here anyway, but this is um, right under the little pool in our survival lab. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and trust me, it was annoying enough because this water kept flooding all my redstone. <laughs> um, all right, we're almost done here. I'm just going to link this up to that. Put a block rat here with a torch. That should go up, and we're all good to go. All right, how do I get out of here? Uh, <laughs> now, the thing is, I don't know if pistons can push this kind of grass. I hope it can. Then I'll be able to have my trap door here. Uh, I need silk touch. Um, crap. Oh, I got it on me. Derp. All right, <laughs> let's give this a try. I hope this works. <laughs> I've never actually tested the pulse. Pul the pulse. Oh, my God. I keep saying pulse. <laughs> I don't have a lisp. The pulse length, if I can actually drop through. Um, okay, who wants some volunteers? 
one, two. Oh wait, I could just put normal grass down. No way, I don't have any. Okay, <laughs> it's a good thing. All right, so we're walking up. There's the hidden button right there. I'm gonna do that. All right, all looks good anyway. Okay, now let's just test when we stand on it. We're gonna have slime blocks right here. Oh, this is working out too well. <laughs> hey, I don't, hey, you never know. This is Pocket Edition. Things could go wrong, things go glitchy sometimes. But um, yeah, I think it's working just fine now. Um, if you're wanting to build the same thing, it's really, really basic. Um, as you can see, uh, normally we, we wouldn't need these pistons right here because these would normally power both top and bottom, but I have to put this piston down here. These pistons right here that hold the blocks are only on one tick, and all the rest of these um, are on uh, the full length ticks because when you press it, of course, they have to go down first, and then these activate last, and so on. So, yeah, there you go. There's kind of, you can stop it right here and look if you want to build it. It's very, very simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cover this up, set slime, uh, slime blocks down there if I have any, and uh, use it after and see how good it is, I guess. <laughs> All right, it looks great. Like, you would never even notice. <laughs> Run by here, going in the door. If you catch that button, though, you might be curious, and you might actually stand right here when you press it. But there's a flaw, though, that I didn't think of with this path grass here. When uh, the pistons pull it under these blocks, it unpaths it, and there. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so, um, my next plan is I kind of made this out of wood and same as that. So I might, in this general area, kind of create like a wooden platform. That's the only plan I have, I guess. <laughs> um, as you know, I kind of have a wooden platform. That's kind of the theme around here. It kind of breaks off right here. And um, right around there, it kind of continues. I might do that in more places around here, so I think it'll look all right. Let me go ahead and do that. Hope Admiral's doing all right. Haven't seen him in a while. He's still in here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, and looky here. Oh, wait, I don't think I had a saddle on him. Yeah, but this donkey despawned, our first one. He did have a chest on him, though. Huh. That's funny. I had a chest on him and all. Oh, what if I had items on him? That would have sucked. He's still here. Probably because he has a saddle. I'm surprised this one's still here. And then, yeah, he has a saddle too. Strange. So, there are some things they still need to fix. I mean, I think if they are enclosed in an area, they should never despawn. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> well, not just cool. It would be really nice. Look at him. He has been wandering around forever. Doing his own thing and surviving somehow. I don't even know how he does it. But okay. On to with this project. Come on, Spud. You need to pick up the pace. Alright, so yeah. This is the kind of path I've made. Tell me if you like it or not. Because I don't know, I'm still iffy about it. Um, I kind of did the same thing. Broke up the path as if it's walked on a lot of dirt. Kind of moved on to the wooden pathway. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm going to have to do something with this around here, like make a wall right here or do something with this. I don't know. It's all right. And then did the same thing right there. Nothing special, but this is the way uh, I can actually have just a solid floor that doesn't look anything like it should be here. here just stand on this one so I know what to do here. Fall right here. So I need... And I'm all out of slime box too. Kind of sucks. <laughs> so we might have to make a trip out to the swamp biome. Um, there's one pretty far away. But I'm sure I can get some slimes. Why not, you know? I think I want to surround this with... Did I do that right? Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. I think I want to try this. Does this look good? Just to surround the slime balls or blocks. It'll look alright. I might do some sort of pathway in here too. Not just keep it all stone and whatnot. I don't know. I think that'll be alright. It kind of looks like a landing platform. It'll just fall right. Oh. And um, I still got to Hey. Wow. I just now realized. Our roof is alright. I didn't have to lower it that much. Just going to cover up that spot. And 
make it look a little bit better. And I'm still iffy if I want to put this down here now. Most of you guys don't even know this is down here because I've had a lot of newcomers recently. Um, this was going to be, well, still is maybe our automatic storage room. Um, I haven't even tested if it's, uh, I'm stuttering a lot. <laughs> I haven't tested if it still works or not. Um, the way I'm doing it is I name each button, of course, and whatnot. And you have to put 18 of each thing in each hopper, which is probably a new way of doing it now, which I need to check up on. Um, but we will continue this project here sometime soon. I still have to decide if I want it to be right here, or I was also thinking of doing like a big building outside connected to our house. Because, well, now that I got a fast drop, I might keep it here because we can just go up, press the button, fall, and move straight to here. Oh, I could have did a fast drop for this. Oh, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Okay, so I've been studying my household here of where I could possibly put some more of these because I want to put these everywhere. I want them to be very accessible and very in, in many places. So we have our first one right here. And I was counting down there how many blocks it is from this to the middle of our storage room. And our storage room is going to be pretty long. And I counted about 30 blocks. And 30 blocks equals perfectly to buy this house. And I'm thinking I might want to put one like right here. Hmm. Yeah, I might want to do that, but I might want to change this door right here. Instead of being it over here, I might want to put it right here, maybe, so I can run in faster, because most of the time I'm running right through here, and I don't want to run all the way around, because the quick drop method is supposed to be easy, accessible, so I might do that. And um, as well, over there in that big house, right at the center of that, where our little slime block drop is to get down to the main floor uh i was looking around and that drops right hello mr chickens <laughs> that drops right around here so we might have another one that drops down to our little cave here um you know what we're gonna have many workshops because i was gonna make this a workshop down here as well <laughs> this might be our main one though i kind of like this one still needs a lot of work Oh, I want to work down here so bad. We got so many projects to finish too. And this over here as well. I can't wait to do this. Well, one thing finished this roof in here. But this right here where we started a while ago. This is our little hopscotch to this little room. And I want to turn this into a little enchantment room. Uh, like a piston activated one that will give us certain levels and whatnot. That will be pretty fun. Um, I kind of like that. Pretty cool. Alright, I think I need to go to the swamp. Oh wow, this is a much different change in pace. Admiral, I miss you. <laughs> um, so someone sent me a picture on Twitter. Sorry I didn't catch your name. You can just comment below. Uh, say it was me, maybe. Don't lie though. <laughs> um, of a picture of their horse was the same as mine. Had the same stuff like that. And if you didn't notice, um, my guy, he has like a, like a navy bluish type trench coat on. And he made a... Come here. Come here. <laughs> Uh, he made a die that looked very close to my thing for, like, a uh, horse armor. So I want to try this out real quick. Um, now I think we, we need to do blue and then ink sack. Ooh, is that it? Oh, <gasps> that kind of looks more of like a... Maybe if I should do, a, like, a light gray, maybe? I don't know, let's see. Oh, yes, that is not the same color as on that picture he sent me, though, I don't think. That's more of like a purple. Yeah, see on my sleeve there on my hand? I, I need it more like that color. I might experiment when I get back from the slime bomb. I kind of like, I would like him to look like me. I do like the gold armor, but I don't know. I, I would like one to look like me. I'm going to, as I said, <laughs> experiment with it more when I get back. Off to kill some slimes. Here it is, the almighty swamp biome that I always come to. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, someone also said, I asked one time on Twitter, asking, uh, <laughs> why can't I find any slimes? Because I was having a hard time finding slimes, and um, someone said, 
they only come out on a full moon in Swamp Biomes. Is that true? That just sounds so cheesy, kind of. Um, I waited around for a while. It was nighttime when they spawned, but I could have swore they'd spawn at just any time in Swamp Biomes. Because, well, as you can see now, there aren't any spawning. Maybe they only spawn at night. I don't know. I've, I never really knew about them a whole lot. I should know about them because I am a slime, but um, yeah. Normally I just have to wait around for a while. Oh, pfft. please don't. Oh my gosh, I'm mad. <sighs> Ouch, Jesus Christ. I'm your freaking family member. <laughs> I found some. And uh, yes, it is nighttime. I could not find any during the daytime, so I guess it is true. You can only find them at nighttime, but it's not a full moon. It's like a three-fourths of a moon. Oh, did he? What the? <laughs> did he, like, burn to death or something? I don't know. But I'm going to sit out here and grind these little guys for a while so I don't have to keep running out here. I got my looting three sword. Some people say hit him with your fist, you get more, but not with the looting sword. You get a lot more with the looting sword. Where'd that other big one go? There he is. <laughs> you know what? I actually sometimes think... Yeah, I'm bad at talking today. Jesus Christ. I guess one day really messes you up. Oh, yeah. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. <laughs> Pretty busy. Um, but as I was trying to say, I might want to... Can you lead these? Oh, I just killed them all. Um, I saw another one over here. Let's go try to lead him. I want to see if you can lead slimes. If you can, I want to bring one home one day and... Uh, zombie, don't interrupt this important moment. Wow, there's slimes everywhere today. Last time I was here, they were just... They were rare. But as I was saying... If you can't, oh, you can't. I wonder if you can get him like in a minecart or something. I'm not sure. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we can finish our little uh, escape hatch thing. What do you call it? Hidden door, Jesus. <laughs> All right, got quite a few, not a whole lot. I think I just got a stack. But I just wanna get this over with. I wanna build a lot of these actually. Uh, crafting table, please. Voila. Oh, I still need to make that horse armor. I want to try to do that before the episode ends. Just two of these, and boom. Now let's go give it a try. First try. All right, so I'm running through the six with my woes, and I get chased by a bunch of zombies, and I have no equipment on me, and little Fred Jr. wants to hold him back while I get to my escape pod. Well, where are you going, Dallas? Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. Huh. Well, I bounced back up and the freaking pistons crushed my head. Didn't think of that, did I? Did you think of that, Mr. Creeper? Because I didn't. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dang it. Where's a way to fix that? Um. Dang it, I really liked this, too. Oh, wait, maybe I can just... Oh, I get hurt from that. Hmm. Oh no, that's something for another time. Darn it. I was hoping it would be perfect, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, what was I going to do? I was going to try to figure out a way to get this horse armor just like my skin. Okay, let's do this real quick and then do the question of the day after that. Um, now, originally, to get this right here, I did lapis and ink sacks. Now, cyan looks more close to my skin if we take a look here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and reset this water. Uh, need a source real quick. There we go. Um, okay, let's try cyan and maybe ink sac. I got gray too. Oh, that looks really close. That actually looks really close to my skin here. Oh yeah, look at that. That is like spot on. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it, definitely. <laughs> Let's take this off and look at him. Um, there you go. Yeah, that looks more like the picture he sent me. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he meant cyan. I don't know, because let's take a look real quick. Uh, okay, I need third person view. No, I don't want to chat. Ah, uh, did it takes so long, Jesus. Oh, yes, that is spot on. Oh. Well, not exactly spot. Well, mine has spotches of different darker gradients of it, but yes, that is it. I like that. Um, wait, we need to do the full test real quick. 
hop on the horse. Give me my leash. There we go. Oh, I kind of like the look of that. Yes. <laughs> he is now official. Uh, obviously, gold is a little bit better, but I don't know. I'll probably switch it off every now and then. I kind of like that, though. <laughs> I'm glad I got that first try, too. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Let's go do the comment question of the day. Hey, Max. You miss me? <laughs> you can finally be a boy now. Looky there. Well, actually, Max normally wears light blue. Pablo wears normal blue. I'll get you it sooner or later. I'll remember down the road. <laughs> so today's comment question of the day comes from Jacob Harrington, and they ask, favorite place in your world? You know, my favorite place has to, there's a lot of favorite places, um, but my favorite favorite place, one of them is the Survival Lab, just because it brings back memories of my old, old series, but my favorite place is this room right over here. Not because I, oh, he's had a bad day. <laughs> um, not because I just put this redstone thing into it, but this room right here, if you guys, all you newcomers, this little spot right here, just this little square where you see this was the first part of our house. If you did not watch it from the beginning, then we expanded up, moved over that way, and that's where all that came from. But this little part right here was my first little area of the house. Um, I even had this before any redstone chicken smelter 5000 prototype. I was like, gonna have like a lava right here, though eggs right here. I don't know why I thought this would work and they would grow up and drop chicken. I don't know. I was trying to be creative in a uh, freaking pocket edition when we didn't have redstone. And I just kept it there for memories for my stupidity. Um, yeah, and we just added this last episode. I like this. But yeah, this is probably my favorite room. I don't know why. This is just where a lot of things go. This is where a lot of things should go. I might even put my first pickaxe in here. I got a diamond. House building material. Doesn't look like much house building material. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, so, uh, what, what? Oh, crap. I going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, well. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll say it in the beginning of the next episode if I remember. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode 126. Bye-bye.